<laughs> you guys got smoke and everything in here. All right. What did I miss so far? Good stuff? All right. Well, I'm going to try to follow all these good speakers, talk a little bit. Do I have my little slide up here? So this is what I'm going to talk about. I, I'm going to, I try to do something that I've never done. So I prepared something special for you. I don't think I've ever shared this quite like this publicly before, but I talked to my business partner and I said, do you care if I share this publicly to like 8,000 people? And I got him, I, I twisted his arm. So I'm going to pull back the curtain on a business that I launched. Some of you have heard of it, Mentor Box. And I want to talk about, oh, I'm going to show you guys something. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I did a little Twitter poll right here. Can you guys see this? Twitter. All right, here's what I said. What should I speak about today? I said, should I speak about how to live the good life, how to become a millionaire, how to invest? You can see it up here. How to make a million dollars a month, make money online, power of mentors. Guess which one won? We got 4,000 people voted in the last couple hours. How to make a million dollars a month. That's what won. So that's what I'm going to talk about. And uh, like I said, I'm going to do a live case study. So this is not like abstract. This is an actual case study. Let me pull up this screenshot. Hey, Zach, we might need you up here. Where's the screenshot? Who wants Zach? <laughs> Zach, where'd you put my screenshot? Is Zach here? Here you go. Everybody say hello to Zach. <laughs> Where did you put it? What? Where'd you put my screenshot? Oh, somebody must have closed it out. All right, you log in. Zach's going to log into my Stripe account. So about a year and a half ago, I decided... What, is it possible, who here has read this book, Four Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss? Okay, so I read that book years ago. I was down, I remember, in Acapulco, Mexico, and I was reading it, and I was like, this is interesting. So in that book, he talks about how he launched a supplement company, and he was making 70 grand a month, and he wanted to see how, much, how little he could work on it. But that book was written like a decade ago. So I was like, let me try a modern version of that. How can I, and 70 grand a month, I don't want to make 70 grand a month because now you always got to go up. Where, whatever you've made before, try to make a little bit more. It's like lifting weights. So I didn't know how to make 70 grand a day or 100 grand a day, so I don't want to make 100 grand in a month. So I called up a guy, and I'm going to lay this out, and some of you should do this. The rest of 2014, a lot of you should take this step-by-step -step formula and just try it because the results surprised me. They were way better than I thought. And you can see, this is what it turned out. I'm going to fast forward to the end. So right now, this business makes $1.4 a month right now, and I work on average five minutes a day. So I was thinking of calling it the four-minute work week, but I figured I'd get in trouble with copyright for that. But I'm serious. That is zero exaggeration. Let me pull up. This is an actual, this is Stripe right here. Can we pull this up? You guys see there at the top where I highlighted t total $37,939 today. And you can see the monthly right now. It's at one point. Oh, let me show you the monthly. Switch it to monthly. It's all right. I always use the app, so hold on. All right, don't worry about it. It's 1.4 million. I can show you on my phone. Five minutes a day, 1.4 million. Raise your hand if you're somewhat cynical and skeptical about those numbers. Okay. One thing I've learned in life, people lie, but numbers don't. These are real numbers. That's not a screenshot. 
So today it's gonna, it's on track. It usually makes about forty to sixty thousand dollars a day, and it's got forty-one thousand recurring members. Okay, one year uh, we started it, I believe, in October of 2016. Zero. I put in at the beginning. We put in no money. I said, Alex, let's put in zero money. Pretend we're start because people always ask me, Ty. Now you know how to make money. What if you started with zero? So I said, let's start with zero. So we started with zero, literally. Now, since then, I put in 100 grand and he put 100 grand in. We did that after about, I don't know, six months. We decided to put a little capital. Zero initial investment. Now, we guess that the company's probably worth $40 million, conservatively. We just signed Walmart as a client. It's the largest employer in the world, so we do their, we're in their employee uh, training and education. So it's probably worth 40 million in a year and a half. I own 50% of it. Actually, oh, we have investors that are like 1.2% of the company. So we own about 98%. And I put in 100 grand cash, and he put in 100 grand, Alex. Now. I'm not getting up here to brag or anything because this is not my main business. This is not my largest source of income. This is the biggest experiment I've ever done. And this is relevant to each person here because I promise you this. I started in this game in 2001. People think that I'm new because my YouTube video started in 2015. In 2001, I was broke, sleeping on a couch, mobile home in Clayton, North Carolina. I bought a course online by this guy, Corey Rudel, who's dead now. It was like 500 bucks, it was all the money that I had. I had saved up a little bit. And I learned Google Ads. And Google AdWords had just started. I was in Google AdWords in the, about the second month that it started. Then I, got, I was in the beta program of Facebook Ads in 2008. I remember in 2001, figuring out Google AdWords, going from making zero dollars, I started making six figures within nine months. I was making about eight grand a month. That was pretty much net, eight grand a month. Then in 2000, grew that business. 2008, Facebook ads came around. And I remember, who here got in Facebook ads when it first came out? Anybody? Raise your hand. Few people. I lived in Hollywood and Vine. It's where the W Hotel is in Hollywood. And somebody had told me, hey, man, I'd gone to some conference or a dinner. And a guy was like, you should check out Facebook ads. So I went there. I dinked around. I made some ads. I went down to eat. There was a sushi place downstairs, Katsuya, and I came back up. I didn't, this was before apps. You couldn't check your Facebook on it. Yeah. So I came back upstairs. I had made $17,000 net, and I was like, okay. It's good to be a trend catcher. That's one of the things that I want you to take away from my talk. People are so cynical in the modern world, they never catch any trends. By the time it's mainstream adopted, where there's no cynicism, it's too late, trust me. Now, you think you can make money now on Facebook ads? You have no idea. I spent like 300 bucks and made like 17 grand in one day, back when it started, because nobody was doing it. 2014, I was at a dinner. A guy came up to me and said, Ty, you should mess around with YouTube ads. He didn't even say ads, he just said YouTube. And I was like, I had this experience. 2001, Corey Rudel said, use Google Ads. I caught that trend. I figured out how to make six figures. 2008, Facebook. I caught that trend. I figured out how to make seven figures. Then I was making about, with Facebook Ads, I probably was making about 400,000 a month. Then YouTube came around. One of my friends, who's now my partner in Mentor Box, he had come down. And, Alex Mayer is a very smart guy. His first business has done a billion dollars in revenue. It's, it's a dating app called Zeusk. So he told me, Ty, recreation is overrated. I, I was like, let's go to the movies. We've been working hard. He's like, recreation's overrated. So he left. I felt he shamed me that night into working hard. And it was a Sunday. It was January 25th, I think, 2015. I had messed around a little teeny bit with YouTube ads. Just a teeny bit. I'd spent like 10 grand and made like 11 grand. So very little profit in December. I went to Europe for New Year's. 
Nathan, who works for me, calls me when I'm in Europe. He says, hey, dude, you order all these books? We filled up every bookshelf you have in the house. And I said, I was like really busy because it was New Year's Eve. I was like, dude, go buy some Ikea bookshelves and put them in my garage. And then unpack all the books. So I come back from Europe. I come back from Europe and I was going to go clubbing in Hollywood. I think it was like, I don't know, Warwick or something like this. And those words came in my head, recreation is overrated. So I went, okay, I'm going to sit here, and I just got on this new iPhone 7. I still keep that phone. I'm like going to make it a bronze statue in my house. And I went, what can I, what? I remember saying to myself, what kind of trouble can I get in tonight? Can I figure out how to make some money? So I walked in my garage, and I just, I had bought a Lamborghini for 20, for Halloween a few months earlier. And I just grabbed this phone. And I was like, here in my garage. Now, you got, most people don't realize, but you guys do. There's a lot of science and psychology to that video. They now teach that video at Harvard Business School. Because I have been in the game long enough to know how to put in the psychology. So it looks very nonchalant, but it actually took me about 10 tries. Then I released it. And um, I released that video and I linked it to this program I had had for six months called the 67 Steps. Who here is in the 67 Steps? So I come back, I, I, um, we launch it. Nothing happens right away. It, the next day, nothing, but I had a conference, the first one I ever did at the Roosevelt Hotel. My best friend Jeremy was in the back. He was running my ads for YouTube. I was giving a talk, and I see him in the back, and he's laughing. And I'm like, what? This guy rarely laughs. And I go to the back, and he's like, refresh. And it's like, we spent 10 grand and just made $120,000 right now while you were up on stage from this YouTube video. And I was like, what are we, we had no upsells, no optimized funnel, but no one else was advertising on YouTube. The power of catching a trend early allows you to suck and still make a ton of money. That video went on, it's been seen probably 600 million times. In fact, besides music video, it's almost the most viewed video in history, human history. Not because I'm so smart, but because you gotta catch trends. So let's talk about, now we're gonna fast forward to now, this case study right here. How the heck do you do this? Because I promise you that five minutes a day is an exaggeration. I don't spend five minutes a day. I spend five minutes a month. But when I was making that slide, I was like, I already know how the world is. Everybody's cynical. If I put five minutes a month, nobody will believe it. So I was like, put five minutes a day. So here's what you got to do. Who here wants to make a million dollars a month? Honestly. And let me preface this by saying, money is not everything, but this is a business conference, so I'm going to talk about money, all right? So for the people that go, oh, what about other things? That's for a different conference. Here's the anatomy of hardly working and making a lot of money. Number one, and this is critical, and I could talk, I don't have enough time to talk about all this, allies. I read an interesting study. Top 10 people in the world, they're all men. They're almost all white men. They own, they are worth more money than the bottom 3.5 billion people combined. 10 men. So my question to you is, are those 10 men working 3.5 billion times harder than the bottom 3.5? I've been to India, there's people there that make 15 bucks a month working 14 hours a day digging out trash, recycling. You can't go to those people and say, hey, work harder, grind. You're going to grind yourself into the dirt. There's only so much grinding you can do. So what I'm here to tell you is everything I'm laying out on this whiteboard is the methodology of working smarter, smarter, smarter. I could have done so many things. That one little three-minute video did all the work for me. So 
let me ask, who's heard this saying? You're the accumulation or your income of the five closest people. Okay, but I got to catch 22. What do you do with that information? There's nothing to do with that information because if you go to five wealthy people and say, hey, want to hang out with me? They're going to go, no, we're the average of the five people we hang out with. If you, we hang out with you, you drag us down. They know that formula. <laughs> they do. They know that formula. So here's the, th here's the thing. You're here. You want to bring five badasses into your life who make more than you. But those five badasses also are their own center of their universe. They want to bring five people into their life. So what happens is, this is why the poor stay poor. I promise you, super baller people only hang out with super baller people. So you come to this conference, which is good. This is the first step, because you get around people and you get around, but still, it's not quite enough. I found this guy from MentorBox, Alex Mayer. Now I got lots of people that want to do business with me. This is the only one that I did this experiment with. How do you attract this caliber of guy? Because this guy's a badass. He is a badass. He's probably the best business partner I've ever had. He says, I'm the best business partner he's ever had, but I don't do anything. Because at the very beginning, write this sentence down. Write this sentence down. Or paragraph. Something like this. Here's the deal. I'll provide all the ideas. You do all the work. We're 50-50. Who likes that? Now, this is assuming you have good ideas because, like Charlie Munger says, you can't polish a turd. A lot of people's ideas are turds. So assuming you have good ideas, you go to somebody who's a badass at executing. Now, who's ever heard of 16 personalities? The psychology test. So there's people. I'm an ENTP. ENTP is known as the visionary. Because you might be asking yourself, if you take this sentence I just gave you. By the way, this sentence is worth whatever you paid to get here. No one will tell you this. Find somebody who loves doing work and doesn't care. Alex Mayer, this is what he said to me. Ty, thank God that's the deal you want. I hate people micromanaging me. I'll do all the work, dude. I'll work 16 hours a day, five days, seven days a week. He told me, I said, do you want to get married? He goes, no. You want kids? He goes, hell no. He goes, all I care about is building businesses. You find somebody, an ally like that, and then you read them that sentence. So you set expectations on day one. I'm doing a disclaimer. If any of you take this idea and go to do this experiment yourself and you don't do this sentence right here and it fails because your business partner freaks out, steals your money, takes you to court, remember, I'm on camera saying, you got to say this sentence and you have to be blunt with them. You have to just say, I'm not going to do any work. None. Zero. Except ideas, strategy, high level, and networking. Who here is an extrovert? The best ally you can find is the opposite of you. Because believe it or not, who's an introvert? That's a fake introvert because an introvert won't raise their hand. That's a trick question. Yeah, that, that's how you find out who's lying. You, you go to a little business dinner. Who here is an introvert? If someone's like, me, me, me. They're like, no, you're disqualified. Um, so introvert, and then you, if whatever you are, you just, simplest formula they should have taught us in school. Introvert, extrovert is the most powerful business partnership I've ever seen. Two introverts can make money. It doesn't work that well. I had the richest man I've ever had dinner with is Steve Ballmer. He owns the Clippers now. He's worth $32 billion. You guys ever seen Ballmer on stage? The man's insane. He's an extrovert. He yells and screams. Bill Gates is a classic introvert. He used to have, he used to have contests. Who could sit in a cubicle for the most weeks without taking a shower? That's an introvert. Those two paired up together and made... You know, 17-time richest man in the world, Bill Gates. And Balmer's not bad at $32 billion. When the L.A. Clippers came up for sale, Donald Sterling was forced to sell the team and was going to sell it for like $1.2 billion. This is how you know you're rich. When somebody's like, I'll sell you my team for a billion, 
but I got some other people interested and you go, what's your wire? I'm going to send you $2 billion just to lock in this deal right now. That's what he did. He bought it for $2 billion Just he, he threw in as a bonus an extra billion dollars. That's the power of an introvert extrovert. So if you're an extrovert here, you, you comb the earth for an introvert. And they will agree to this deal because they don't like to be micromanaged. You say, you do all the hands-on. My job, and this is what I tell Alex Mayer, he's an introvert. I go to these conferences and talk to people. He doesn't like that. He doesn't really like people. Introverts don't really like people. Unless they've known somebody for 10 years, they don't like them. Trust me. Intro that's the best way to know if somebody's an introvert. Hey, want to meet new people today? Introverts are like, hell no. Extroverts are like little puppies. Like, oh, yeah, let's go. So, so step number one, get your pairing correct. Introvert, extrovert. By the way, if somebody had told me this in 2001, everything I've, I've done now I would have been able to do by 2008. It took me an extra 10 years. Everybody who's not learning quickly, you can waste in 10 years, I guarantee you. 10 years. If you don't care about a decade, you'll get what you want. You'll just get it slowly. This is a shortcut. Then you read them the sentence I gave you. Now, if you're the introvert, you've got to read the, the inverse of the sentence. You have to say, hey, listen, I'm in control of the business. I do all the hands-on. You go out and network. You bring the deals to me. You get the high-level ideas, okay? Read the sentence to them. Now, number three, the idea. Mentor box is a very good idea. It was my idea, and here's the idea. In a, this is how you know ideas are good. If you could say them in a sentence, and they're compelling. Net, mentor box is the Netflix of books. Who can see it? Who sees that, that that might be helpful? So you got to be able to, you have to have a refined idea, especially if you're the extrovert in this situation, because you've got to bring the ideas to the table. Remember, to get 50% of a deal, you got to bring something to the table. It's just not work. See, I bring thinking to the work, to the game. And it's probably, if we sold it now, I would get a check for 20 million bucks. Total hours in this business, Guaranteed, not more than 20 hours. Who will work for a million bucks an hour? That's what this thing comes out to be. It's a good experiment. And I didn't know it was going to be like this. So you bring the refined ideas. Remember, you can't polish a turd. A guy came to, I did a mastermind in 2015. I haven't done them since 2015. Guy comes to me, he goes, Ty, I dropped a million dollars on an idea an app. He was 60 years old. He said, I put all my retirement money in it. It's the worst idea I've ever heard. It was literally like, <laughs> it was like underwater basket weaving app. It was just dumb. And I was like, he's like, can you help me? I was like, nope. I told him, get back to work. You can be at Walmart for 20 years, man, trying to make your million dollars back. It was a hard lesson for him, but the truth hurts sometimes. If you take a bad idea and you come to this conference and you listen to all these speakers, and you put it up on ClickFunnels. By the way, this case study, we're up on ClickFunnels. This, and you go on ClickFunnels and you got a bad idea, you'll make zero money. I guarantee you, you will work harder and harder for less and less. My goal for everyone here, forget making a million a month if that's too outrageous for you. But at least get twice the results with half the work. For those of you cynics, at least... Make this 2018. You're going to make twice the money with half the work. Now, allies, you got the extroverts, you got the introverts. Here's the big thing. You got to know how to read people. Because some of you are going to, by December 31st, you're going to be making a million bucks a month. And your business partner is going to steal it all from you. Okay? That happens about half the time. So you have to understand some scores. There's some psychology. I'm, I don't have time to get into it. But there's two tests you can give to any person you meet. One's called the Hexaco, one called the Dark Triad. If somebody gets a high score on these, run for your life, no matter how big the promises are. It's getting bad. I've test, I probably tested, I, I got a mentor, Dr. David Buss, who's 
the number one evolutionary psychologist in the world. He taught me about this. He's like, dude, you can measure people just like you measure your bank account. So he gave me this. I've probably tested five to 10,000 people. Scores are getting bad out there. And guess where the worst scores come? From entrepreneurs. Telling you. 10% of entrepreneurs are trustworthy that you're going to approach. Maybe more at a conference like this since it's somewhat of a, you know, hand-selected group or whatever. But you go out there, you meet people that tell you they're going to do the work, they're going to rip you off. So I don't have time to go into Hexaco and Dark Triad. You can Google them. Write that note down. I want you to walk away with tangible, result, uh, tangible kind of notes. Hexaco and Dark Triad. Before you get married, before you get a business partner, before you hire a key employee, have them take this quiz. It will change your life. You want me to do it? It's too long right now. Okay, now let's get to the next part. I'm gonna take a volunteer. I'm just, just who ha, who's an entrepreneur with a website? What, what's your website? Travelsecuritylock.com. All right, let's go. Well, you want to get your site up. That'll be the first step. Oh, travelers. All right. The next step, once you got all this, you've quizzed the person. You've got an extrovert, introvert match. Okay. Are you making any money right now? Are you? Okay, I got good news for you. If you're making money right now with this, <laughs> you make a lot of money if you fix your website. Well, one thing when you criticize people, they're always like butt hurt, you know, and I go, look, the good news of getting called out is it's only up. Some of you are going to figure out how to make 50 million, trust me. Once I figured out how to make 50 million bucks a year, I realized there's a huge downside. I'll maybe if I have time talk about this. When you make 50 million bucks a year, what are you gonna, everything's downside. People, I had a maid at my house. She walked out of the house. We got a letter from insurance. She was suing the insurance. She wasn't suing me. She said she slipped on a banana peel, literally. I, I was like, did you watch cartoons? Like, how did you come up? But when you're at the top, the only way is down. Who here feels a little bit discouraged in life financially right now? Honestly, be honest, don't, ah, more people, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. When the, when the dark night is there, there's more people worried about money than just raise their hand. I gotta, it's like this website. A lot of upside. First of all, faces sell. Faces sell, my friend, you don't have a face. There's no face there. Number five step, you must master marketing. I was lucky when I was 19 years old, my first mentor on a farm, Joel Salatin, was a marketer, but with farm stuff, organic food. I've been studying marketing, like I said, since past 2001, before 2001. There's no marketing psychology here. There's something called the 25 cognitive biases. You need to have a lot of things here. A good thing is you have a video, but you have no face. Little babies, under one years old, if you show them a screen, this screen right here, or a screen with a face, they use eye recognition software, all the babies will look over there. It's a deeply ingrained instinct. So this website, you could 100x revenue from this website. 100x. Who else has a website? <laughs> Lloyd? Lloyd, okay. Is this a coaching website? Insurance. Insurance. You want the, this is like the Godfather. You want the bad news or you want the good news? The Godfather said, uh, if you watch Godfather, the guy goes, I work for a man that likes his bad news immediately. I always tell my staff, if there's bad news, bring it to me first. Okay, the bad news in this website, there's lots of bad news, but 
One of the things is, let me just tell you, you, it has to be interesting, especially if it's insurance, and never show your back. Let me show you guys something like this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to prove my, my psychology to you guys. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Let's go to her Instagram. One of the most famous people in the world. Watch this. I'm going to show you how to read. Even, these rules apply for even the most famous people in the world. So let's look a side picture where you don't see her face. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if I want to use that example, but uh, let's find one with no boobs. All right. Someone say good luck finding one with no boobs. All right, let me switch to Drake here. Uh, here we go. All right, Drake, most famous, one of the most famous men in the world. Here's a, here's a 934,000 likes on, on that picture. You guys see that? 934. Let's go to one that's just like really clear of Drake looking straight into the camera or relatively straight into the camera. This has 1.2. Here we go. Him with his mom, 1.4 million, almost double. So the psychology of the face, people want to see your face. When I go to Lloyd Agency, if I'm an agent, I don't want to see your back. Backs don't sell. Backs don't sell. The other thing is remove all trite, leave a legacy of your dream. Blah, no one reads that stuff. Say something badass. People lie, but numbers don't. Is there any number? About, this is what I say. If I want to brag, I'll say something like this. I'll go... Uh, let me, I don't know. I, I'll say a number. I'll say $50 million a year. That's the only time I will tell you, this is how you know you're in a good room. When I had dinner with Steve Ballmer, he goes, how much money do you make? And I was like, there's no way I can tell this guy because I'm going to be very embarrassed no matter what you say. Because for him, you know, revenues are in the 200 billion range. What am I going to say? Oh, I make $50 million a year. So Try to get in a room where you're always embarrassed to say your revenue. But here, usually that works on people numbers. How many agents do you have? 250. Do you own it? Alone? I'm a woman. I got 250 people working for me. Is that more of a boss statement? It's a number. People respond to numbers. And it's real. All triteness get away. Trust me. Nothing like Even on my website, if you go to tylopez.com, um, I put numbers right here. Two million members, six million Facebook likes. Pete, this stuff, who here has ever looked at a YouTube video that their friend sent you? It's 10 minutes. Your friend send you a video. It's 10 minutes long. You're not sure you want to watch it. If it shows 17 views, who's going to watch it? If it shows 2.8 million views, you might take the time to watch it. What psychological bias is that? Social proof, liking bias, reciprocity. There's 25 of these you have to master. I'm going to do one more. What is he? We boy houses? Oh, we buy houses? He's from Ireland. I thought he said little wee boy houses. <laughs> Wait, you own this website? Okay, webuyhouses.com. Oh, dot Dublin? Oh, Dublin. All right. Because this site's not very good either. Okay. It's a very pale sight. Is that it? <laughs> what is it? That's it? No, no cartoons. Trust me. No, 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 no. Trust me. Are you the owner? Put your, look, this is how you make money. You get a video, you go like this, and you talk about yourself. If it's you, you go, listen, what's your name? My name's Sabrina. I've got 250 agents who work for me. Let me tell you a little bit about my background. I was born in the proj 
Canada. Okay, it's not. It's better if it's the projects. I was born in the projects of Canada. <laughs> I started out and tell a story. Humans only reply to stories. If you're ever public speaking, you're ever on a stage like this, and you look out and people are texting, that's how you know you're boring. And you can instantly solve it every time. You want to write these words down? I'm telling you, this will save you someday. You go, so let's say you're saying boring stuff. You're up here, Lloyd's agency, who wants to work for me, blah, 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 whatever, okay? Um, Now you switch it to this sentence. You go, hold on. I'm going to tell you guys a story. A story of how my business partner betrayed me. I promise you, those key buzzwords, betrayed, story, people go, what? I know a lot about that. Who here has ever been betrayed by loved one, family member, spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend? Okay. That's called liking bias, commonality bias. The most, what do you guys think? I'm going to just, a little little bouncing around here because we're doing this improv. What do you think is the most powerful cognitive bias you can put on your website? Most powerful thing you can put on your website? Free? Maybe. Scarcity. Not always. You go to a website and it's like, three minutes left. You're like, bullshit. There's ain't three minutes left. Amazon does that. Have you seen Amazon's wording? It goes, Buy now, there's seven books in the warehouse, and below it it says, but we'll get more later. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. (laughs) Fake scarcity, they didn't want to get sued. No, the most powerful thing to have on your website that none of you three had, you have no relatability. Relatability. If I come up here and I go, all right, I make money, and I, uh," but I told you guys my story. It's a true story. When I was born, my mom was a single mom. My dad was in prison. I didn't inherit any business. I was sleeping on a couch for real in a mobile home. I found it on MapQuest you, or uh, on Google Maps. You can zoom in. The mobile home's still there. Everything you see me build that I built, I, I got lucky and some skill involved and some mentors involved. But it's a relatable story. When I walk out on the street, people come up to me all the time and they're like, man, I'm where you are when you started. What should I read? What should I do? Who should I listen to? you got to be relatable. This isn't a cartoon. Is the least relatable thing unless your target market is seven-year-olds. Are you doing seven-year-old buying houses for you? No. You got a good example? You got a good example? Let me. All right, that's three. Here, here's what I want to talk about now. I'm, on a, I'm trying to give you this formula as fast as I can. So master marketing, what's the number one thing your website should have? And your social media? If you want to make, you know the most relatable uh, video that we did for MentorBox? Let me show you this. This video crushed, you might have seen it. The second I saw Alex did it, remember I do no work in this business. And I saw him do this video. I don't know if it's on here. It's on Instagram. A lot of you have seen it. It's literally a video of Alex going, because it's a book business, right? And he goes, have you ever looked over at your stack of books and wish you had read them, but you don't have time to read them? I'm about to solve that problem for you, because I had that problem, that's why I started MentorBox. And the whole world responded to that. 40,000 people on recurring revenue between $7 and $150. We could stop working right now on MentorBox and we'd probably bring in 400,000 bucks a month. We could just go on vacation. Our churn rate is almost zero. It's insane. It will run for years. I could have put a case study, how to retire in a year and a half and make $400,000 a month with literally no staff, no work, nothing. We'd, we'd need one or two people because it's a relatable problem. Who here wants to become a master of psychology in 2018? Because to make $1.4 million a month, more than anything, way more than working hard, way more than working hard, you got to become a master of branding and marketing. Branding yourself and branding whatever it is you want to sell. And the way to start is relatability. That's one of 25 things you have to do. What do you think is number two? Oh, I need another marker. Lost my marker. What's number two most powerful thing you can do?
Build trust? Okay. You can do something called authority bias. That's why I said you need to give numbers. Numbers. People respond to numbers, I'm telling you. Forbes list is numbers. Forbes list is numbers. Elon Musk, he's a numbers guy. When you think of it, he's the only man alive to have three companies started from scratch that make $1 billion uh, that are worth over a $1 billion. No one's done that. That's alive right now. That's a number. It gives him tremendous authority. Who thinks Elon Musk has authority? What's another thing? Now, let me show you. I'm going to give you guys something in advance. i got to get off here soon. Um... I'll give you something in advance that I haven't talked about that much. All right, here's the thing. You guys heard of reverse psychology? Okay. The more that you do any of these things and the more people figure out how to do them, the more the reverse starts happening. So, for example, who's heard that you should have scarcity on your website? Okay. But who here has gone to a website and you see the scarcity and it makes you not want to buy because you think they're tricking you. So now we're getting to more ninja stuff. As the world evolves, everything that worked stops working. That's why you see I don't post that much with cars anymore. Why? Because I already established authority and I don't have to post them that much anymore. So now the inverse starts to work. What's the opposite of showing off Lamborghinis? Showing off... The opposite of showing off materialistic things is showing off non-materialistic things. So if you go on my Snapchat in the last week, I'm at my grandma's 100th birthday. Who here likes that? You know, I'll show you something. I posted a video, uh, a picture. Who do you think is the most popular person in the world? Donald Trump? Okay, maybe. Even somewhat infamous, too, depending on who you ask. So I, I did another, I'm all about experimenting. Here's an experiment. Where is this? Okay. So you guys know who this girl is? This is, you guys know Kendall Jenner? So this got 245,000 likes. I was like, wow, a lot of people like Kendall Jenner. But a lot of people hate her. And then I was like, what? do people not hate? Grandmas. <laughs> My grandma smoked her, 332,000 likes. <laughs> My grandma's the most popular person in my world. So that's what I mean by reverse psychology. So some of you, you have an idea and you're building businesses off what worked in 2014 and 2015. Everything's opposite now. I did a Lamborghini video in 2014, 2015. If I was starting now, I wouldn't do it. Because now, when you go on Instagram, it's a ton of people showing off cars. Who here has ever gone on Instagram and seen a fitness model doing a squat, but it's basically a butt video, and it's, it's supposed to help people learn how to squat. But if you look at the followers, they're all male. I'm like, these guys ain't learning how to squat. <laughs> so if you're a woman and you want to be a fitness entrepreneur, you should do the opposite. Reverse psychology. Now people dismiss the butt, booty, squatting thing. Now you want to come on there and be probably more wholesome would work. For those of you trying to build, who here wants to build an e-commerce business? So just going back, let's see if we made any money while, we were, while I was up here. This is my favorite thing in the world to do. There we go. You see that thing reset? 38000 We made a grand or two while I was sitting here on MentorBox while I've been up here on stage. Who wants to do e-commerce? You're gonna have to do something opposite. You're gonna have to do something opposite of what's working. And here's the good news. If you crack the code on this, you can crack. I'll give you guys a business idea that I gave a week ago. No one's done it yet. This is a guarantee, this business will crush. It may not make a million a month, but it should make, it should make a lot. You'll be able to go to a, a lot of sushi dinners, buy a lot of houses with this. So watch this. You go to GoDaddy. What's something you guys like to eat? How about snack bars? Anybody here ever eat a snack bar, protein bar? All right. 
So everything's creating its opposite. In the past, you would make a protein bar company like Quest. I had him on my, uh, Tom is a cool guy. He's on my podcast. He's selling millions of bars at a time, right? Quest bars. But now the opposite will work. Let me see this. I literally did not plan this, so if it doesn't work, blame someone else. Here you go. It's actually available, the domain, for three grand, four grand. Um, watch this. Protein bar rating. There you go. 11 bucks, you're in business. I can put people, you know one of the biggest projects I'm working on? This is, you guys are a case study. I'm taking 300 people from rags to riches, from inner cities, from conferences. I've already done it. Last year, my top student went from zero, made 1.2 million. He's on track to make 10 million bucks. Never had had a bank account before. College, he was living at home. And I've got so many of them that I literally have one of my lawyer's full-time job is to verify people's stuff. I'm probably at thousands now, but I haven't verified thousands, so now I'm verifying them step by step. I'm showing you, one of you take this idea, literally, it's a free gift. You can go on your phone and buy this right now. You go to proteinbarrating.com. I would go on Amazon. I would search protein bars. How am I on time here? I'm trying to give you guys a million dollar. 25? Okay, good. We got protein bars. I would rank them prob I like to look at high to low price. So you come in here just to see the range. No idea why this is a $640 snack bar <laughs> for a case. I guess it's just big cases of stuff. So I go down to the most reasonable price. Let's just say this one. Bound uh, How did the Milky Ways get into protein bars? <laughs> All right. Pure protein, 171 bucks. So what do I look? They're doing 48 pack bars. How many, how many different brands are on here? Four or five, right? Who here has ever been confused buying a protein bar? Okay, let's just pretend I bought this business. By the time I am refresh that page, somebody in this room is going to buy this domain. So I hope, hope it, whoever it is, this is what you do. You go, you can go to ClickFunnels, you can go to Amazon, whatever. You make, what is the most important marketing tool that I said? Relatability. You make a video. You either, the iPhone 8 Plus, write this down, is the baddest piece of equipment, the only thing you need to own. iPhone 8 Plus. I don't work for Apple. I'm not promoting them. It's the, and you got to change the settings in the settings to 60 frames per second. It's, it's what they shot movies on for 50 grand five years ago. That's how good a quality is. You get a friend or you do it selfie style. And you go, and you just literally have like seven protein bars in front of you. You look on Amazon, the most popular ones. You go, I'm always confused with protein bars. I didn't know. So I decided to just dig deep, read the labels for you, talk to some scientists, talk to some fitness people. I'm going to tell you exactly which protein bars you should buy. Then you put a link. Hey, and by the way, if you want to buy them from me, I'll ship them to you in a box. It's once a month. I don't make that much money because you won't make that much, but you can mark it up 50%. I'll ship it to your door, and I'll vary it up. If you're a vegan, I got a vegan protein box. If you're, you know, hardcore bodybuilder, I got a bodybuilder protein box. This is, you can get, to, what's 10,000 people, what's 1,000 people buying from you at 50 bucks a month? 50 grand. What if 2,000 people? Now you got 100 grand. What's that per year? 1.2 million. That business right there, if you do it right and you find a business partner, as I told you, who does all the work, you do nothing, you provide that idea, you provide the domain, you're making 100,000 a month. Your margins should be at least 20 to 30,000 a month. Who here would like an autopilot business making them 20 grand a month? And I can sit up here on stage, obviously there's not time, and do a hundred of these businesses. There's so many. Everything's changing. Everything's in turmoil in the world. Every business that was on top is scared. Walmart's rate numbers are dropping. The fastest billionaire in history started Jet.com and sold it to, for $3.2 billion to Walmart. Because he said, I'm going to be the next Amazon. And Amazon bought him. He was scared. They were scared. Everything is on your side right now except for one thing. Allies, going back to this number one thing. Who here 
has, not five, I don't have five allies. I probably have about 30 people that I have a WhatsApp group with that I talk to weekly for every idea. Conference, what should I talk about? What should I wear? What, sh what business should I launch next? Who should I sell to? You need 30 solid allies. I promise you this. I love books. You can buy all the books in the world, which I try to do. I buy as many books as I can. It's a, big, it's a part of my success, but it's not more important than allies because the world's changing so fast that by the time a book is written, it's already outdated. I bought a book about a year and a half ago on social media. It was like the definitive Bible of social media marketing. I bought it, and there's like this huge chapter on how to use Meerkat live streaming and I'm like oh this is good and I like go to the app store it's like meerkat no longer exists by the time I wrote that book that business had come up and crashed so the thing with in-person allies which maybe you'll find here out of the allies you'll find that either the extrovert or the introvert that you need number two you will find ideas for those of you who are not good at ideas you will find investors you will find affiliates. You will find marketing. So I had about, I'm also doing an experiment right now. I haven't even announced this publicly. I had 72 employees just running my personal brand like six months ago. And I'm like, okay, what if I go to none? So I'm halfway there. You can do this from your house, but not without the allies. I have more allies now than I had 10 years ago. A wise general, there's a, there's a multi, uh, 2,000 year old saying, make war with a multitude of counselors. How many cabinet member advisors does the President of the United States have? 15. Cabinet's 15. Most powerful man, the man who can do nuclear weapons and do all this, most powerful man on this planet still goes, oh, I need 15 people helping me. I meet brand new entrepreneurs. I'm like, who, how, who's your badass allies. Like, huh? I'm like, I can, I'll tell you this, if I ever bet against you, I bet against people. I keep a little book of people who piss me off that I bet against them. There's 10 names in there. Exactly what I predicted going back to 2003. Exactly what I predicted come down, came to pass. They failed. It's easy to fail. It's hard to succeed. Without allies, you will fail. Adolf Hitler and the German army was a powerful army, but if you ever looked at a map Germany was this big. The U.S. had all the U.S., had the U.K., had France, had all of Russia, had most of South America, had most of Northern Europe. Germany had two little allies. Who do you think won World War II? Whoever has the most allies. The best generals in the tank was Rommel, but Rommel couldn't beat the United States and England because they had too many allies. You're the general in 2018 of your life. Does the general do all the work? Does the general do the work? Does the general grind? When you see the general, it's like, I'm grinding. I got my shovel. I'm digging trench. A lot of you are grinding, but you're not the general. And I know why you're not the general, because you have no allies. So you, who here is, feels like they have to do everything? You got to do the marketing. You got to build the website, the idea. You got to do kind of, This is a quick path to nowhere. So for these people in my 300 group, This is what's happening. These people, it's insane. Like this guy, Jaden, he's just a random kid. He comes in a program that I had, social media marketing program, just one of mine. This kid comes and he morphs. I think he's in seven businesses now. He's the general here. He did it smart because he only, he, he was grinding for about six months. Then he figured out this formula because I told it to him. Because no one told it to me. I had to learn it the hard way 10 years. He quickly became the general. He was like boot camp first. He went through my boot camp. Then he became, you know, whatever, a corporal, a private, all this stuff. But it only took him to be about six months. He has on autopilot. He's netting $62,000 a month right now. Net. That's not bad for 21, 22 and he's not an aberration. I'm seeing it over and over. So 300 group, allies. 
because the allies have to take this role for you. You, must ha- you have to have a corporal, a sergeant, and all that. They just don't have to be you. To become the general is as simple as making a decision that 2018, I'm going to be the general. I'm telling you. I've tried every formula. I'm an experiment person. I've spent about a million bucks on my body in the last two years trying every known stem cell, blah, 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 trying it. In business, I've tried everything. I've done the grinding thing. Dude, I've gr- I have done the grinding thing. Let me tell you, and I will tell you, it will permanently harm your health. It, it's not worth it. I don't care what, I'll stand up here and, there's smart people who disagree with me, I call bullshit. Because I know a lot of the behind the scenes to those stories, they ain't grinding, they are a general. Some generals don't want you to know that they're a general. So they pretend that they're fighting in the infantry. They ain't fighting. Bullshit, trust me. (laughs) Generals don't fight anymore. I think in World War II, one general died in the whole war. He went out there going, ah, you get shot in the face. So this is how your income should go, in my opinion. Some people are going to disagree. Who here has been told that your income will go like this? This is the 30-year lie. This is why the average American has $60,000 when they retire. This doesn't work. $60,000 when you retire with inflation is worth $20,000. You have to have this punctuated, it's like an evolution, punctuated equilibrium. It has to go way up. My income always has gone in things like this. I call it the rule of tens. It's funny. Before Grant had 10x, I had this thing called rule of tens. Try to make a hundred bucks a month, then try to get to a thousand. Who here is making a thousand a month? At least, or, or less than a thousand. Sorry. Who? Then you go to ten thousand. Who here is making ten thousand a month? Twenty eighteen rule of ten add a zero, so we got to go to a hundred thousand a month. Who here is at a hundred thousand a month? We got to get you to a million a month. And who here is already at a million a month? We got to go to ten million bucks a month. This is a simple rule. I followed it. It keeps it very simple. It keeps your goals. And I'm going to show you guys how to break it down. How much money do you have to make per hour to make uh, 100 grand a year? Minimum wage. Just 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 40 hours, you never catch up. It's not mostly. So a lot of you think you got to make, you launch that protein snack bar company, you got to make like 15 bucks an hour, 24 7. And it's making you six figures. And then you stack another business and another business. I have so many LLCs, I have to keep track of them in an Excel spreadsheet. With the formula that I gave you, where you have another person run the business for you, what's the limit? How many different squadrons can a general command without burning out? You can command an empire. But you can't do it if you're a foot soldier. So for those of you who want to stop being a foot soldier, I'll show you what I've learned with social media, I'll show you what I learned with branding. I don't know if I'm the best social media business person. Entrepreneur Magazine named me number one in the world. Forbes Magazine named me top 10 business influencer in the world. <laughs> Kylie Jenner, Kylie Jenner, for all you cynics, guess who made money the fastest of any person in history? Kylie Jenner with Snapchat. I watched her break Google Analytics. She had 300,000 people hit her checkout page in simultaneously. It went 300,000. She's made $420 million before she's 21. You know what she does? Makeup in a box. We do books in a box. Protein in a box. What's that you're eating right there? Chips? Crisps. What's another business? Soft drinks? What's up, man? What's your business? Investing? You cancel people's timeshares? Can I look at your website? All right, I'm going to show you what I already taught you guys. You guys are now the experts. PR, what's wrong or good about this site? PR what?
PR Wesley Financial Group. Okay. What's wrong? What's good? What's bad? Tell me. This you know, part of the boot camp. We're in uh, hour one of the boot camp. For those of you going to go 67 days with me, right here. By the way, if you don't know what um, business to run, take this exact he thing I do, so auditing websites. Go walk around to businesses um, or call them up, audit concept. their website. They'll, you'll hire, one out of ten of them will hire you for one to ten thousand dollars a month. The guarantee. I can teach you how to literally. That's what I'm teaching people to. No one knows this stuff. This is on the. How do you make money? You catch the what? The trend. Okay. Is this a video? Here's the problem with this. Good news is you have yourself. The bad news, I, I have a feeling it, it doesn't look relatable, but maybe it is. I'll have to see. How about this? This is more, okay, a little about our CEO and why we exist. Nobody cares. They're going there because they got ripped off by a timeshare, right? So you need to be on there and go, did you get ripped off by your timeshare? Let me tell you a story why I started this business. About 10 years ago, is this your story? Do you ever get ripped off by a timeshare? Uh, I sold timeshare, but I got the roof my window. Look how good this story is. Dude, I, how, you make money now? Yeah. You making seven figures? Yeah. Okay, you said, oh, yeah, to make it seven. If you make it seven, this is an eight. I could take this to eight figures in 67 days. Just look, you change the video. You go, I used to be a timeshare salesman. Have you been scammed? Come to me. I know how we scammed you. I felt so bad that I quit my job, and I made a business for... Who here has ever bought a stupid timeshare? Yeah, but it doesn't say that because it says a little about our CEO. Let me tell you guys, ain't nobody care about the CEO. Okay, if you're not to get on Tyler but slash 10x, turn off your Wi-Fi. If you can just do it LTE. You think it has something to do with the Wi-Fi, they said. Free alarm guy has said this 3,000 times, so I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> Freealarmguy.com. Guys, who wants to make... Okay. Oh, guy. You need guy. Guy, guy. I was going to say, that's an interesting design. Okay. Okay. Cartoons. No. My nightmare. Are we all seven years old? Cartoons, do, I promise you, even Geico, they have the Geico Gecko, not the Geico cartoon. It's, it's it, free alarm. What do you guys sell? Upgrade today to get the piece. You know how to sell? Okay. Should I do this the sneaky way to make a lot of money? This is the sneaky way to make a lot of money. You do home alarms, right? Where are you? Okay. Why do people buy? What's the psychological rationale of buying an alarm? You should have a freaking skit of some woman home alone, someone breaking in without an alarm. <laughs> woman or men, who here has ever heard a noise at night, been home alone and gone, I don't feel very happy right now. <laughs> my ex, there's a part of my house she's never been to. She told me she knows there's a ghost there. And I was like, at first I was like, are you serious? And after one year of never going down there, I realized she was very serious. If people are afraid of ghosts, they're definitely afraid of real robbers. You should have no, people lie, but numbers don't. How many home evasions are there per year? How many home invasions? Google it. Somebody Google. Where is that on the website? Let's say 10,000. Did you know every 15 minutes somebody's house is broken into? Half the time by somebody with a gun and a mask on? There's nothing that scares people more than that. Say, I've, you need a video with you in the front. Say, I can tell you seven things to do right now to cut the odds in half. You guys want to know a true story? I haven't told this really publicly. The police told me not to. Two months ago, I'm down in San Diego. I have a place down there. Phone call at 3 in the morning. Uh, Ty, this is Jocelyn who's staying in my house. You need to talk to uh, Detective so-and-so. There's been a break-in in your house. A dude broke into my house. It's all on camera because I got alarms. He jumped the wall. A big dude, too. This guy's like 6'4", crazy, 250-pound guy. Broke in, okay? Tried to figure out. It's all on camera, like him walking around, trying to figure out how to break in my house. Got into the house. This is the best part. 
He gets in the house. He goes in the kitchen. He rummages through. He finds an extra pair, uh, set of keys. To the, I had four cars in the garage. He goes in the garage. He tries to start Lamborghinis. Roll, he couldn't figure it out. There was a Maserati in there. He turns it on, figures it out, goes back in the house, makes snacks. This is all on camera. <laughs> he made almond butter sandwiches, um, cashews. He made nut mix for himself and bottles of water and put it in the back of my car and backed out, but he made a noise and there was people sleeping upstairs. So this is a real felony. He, so he was charged. The poli- they called the police. Police came, seven guys with guns. They put him. He said that Ty, is, first he told the police, no, no, I'm Ty's business partner. And he gave me the keys to the Maserati. Then the people who were standing at the house came down and said, no, we don't know this guy. And he said, well, actually Ty did a challenge on his Snapchat, who could break into his house? <laughs> True story, they were interrogating. The guy went to jail, but it's overcrowded. He's now out. He's now out, literally. Rome, the, the police detective in Beverly Hills told me, Ty, if you see this dude, call us. We got a restraining order. I'm like, whoa, that's very, very, um, you know, that, I got a lot of confidence now. When he's in my house, six foot four, 280 pound dude, I go, oh, would you hold on a second? I need to call the detective about your restraining order. <laughs> you should have story after story on your home. A 20, 30. One of the things, you guys are making too short of videos, long cells. You should have 20 or 30 minutes of men and women telling true life stories of people breaking in their house. And then you go, and by the way, I'm an expert. Here's some numbers about me. I was voted number one, you know, blah, 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 in this magazine, this, this. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a free guide, PDF, and I'll come to your house and fix it for you. How much is it going to cost? How good does it feel to not know you're going to get murdered on, you know? What?